Rebel version 7 doesn't come with any type or text tools, but you can use Pass now. It's a new feature of Rebel 7 to create all kinds of text. I'm going to use Affinity Photo, but you could use Inkscape. There's loads of other ones. Also, there's online applications. And I've just created the word Christmas. Now, it needs to be set to curves. Can't be type. Just needs to be curves. Obviously, it's converted into curves. And go to File, and then Export. And just export it to SVG. If you've got Illustrator, other applications are also available as well. And just save it as that. So once you've got that, let's go back to Rebel. And in Rebel, let's just create a new document. You'll notice here in the pass, there's nothing. And you can find the pass in the window menu and pass. But what you can do, you can go down here, down to the bottom, import a new pass. So click that and then select the type. So type.svg and you can see it's added here. Just click and now you can see it's added to the document itself. And you can resize it, rotate it and so on. But what you can also do is apply various brush strokes to it. So watercolor, let's go for that. And I'm going to set it to black. So black, let's just apply like that. And it will follow the type. And of course, I'm using art pad and pen, but you can just apply it all the way around. You don't have to fill the whole thing, of course. You can Now, sometimes it will slightly jerk off that path. Notice occasionally it doesn't sort of stay on, but most of the time it does follow that path. And of course, you can vary the color. You can always go for reds and try create all kinds of different type effects. But also what you can do is you can deselect that. You can see the word, obviously, Christmas there, but you can select it again. You might decide, you know what, let's just shift it slightly or resize it or rotate it. Maybe make it slightly bigger. And again, continue with your brush stroke. This time, maybe use something else, so express oils. So select that and then apply. And of course, you can vary it. Vary the colour, maybe go for green if you want obviously a nice Christmassy sort of design. And you can see as you apply it all the way around that way. Now a variety of other tools also are available. So you could use, say, this one as well. Pencil, so you just use that. And you can see then you've got a little pencil stroke and so on to create all kinds of Christmas. So deselect that and you can see now the word Christmas again. You can select it at any point and move it again. But you can also deselect it and then go maybe to one of these other tools, like an airbrush. So airbrush, just apply it. You might decide, you know what, let's just, I want a green background, like that. Just apply it all the way over, like that, and now select it again. Now it's active, you can then go over here, and you could obviously watercolour, maybe set it to black, so it obviously stands out a bit more. And again, let's just change that. Some weird reason doesn't always change there, so just make certain it is active. And you can apply it again. Again, follows all the way around the word Christmas. But also, what you can also do, use this. You've got here the eraser tool. So just select that. Or some of these other tools will be active as well. So eraser tool. So just go with that one. And again, you can set the size. But this time, the eraser is active. And you just cuts away. So you might want to reduce it down a bit. And just apply it around certain parts. So again, make sure it follows the actual text. Sometimes it, like I say, jumps a bit. You can see, you put the word Christmas, and you can see again, you got back to the paper again. And of course, you can repeat this apply different times. And again, deselect it like that, and you can see the word Christmas there. It's obviously cut through as well. At any point, of course, you can go to the layers, and you can go here, and you can dry the layer. So it's dried, and again, you can go to watercolor. So select that. Again, make it active there. And with that, you can then Apply maybe black or red or green and apply again. And you can create literally all kinds of combinations of type. And it doesn't have to be the word Christmas, of course. You can, of course, import maybe multiple different type and just blend in all kinds of different designs. And also you can go here, blend. So use blend and you can see then just blend it down there. Again, it follows the type. You can just blend it in to create the word Christmas as well with all the text blending in together and just blend that around there so it smudges a bit and and so on. You can see literally all kinds of Christmas can be created very quickly. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions please let me know in the comments below. Obviously I'm using Affinity Photo. That's my favourite application. I use that a lot. 
but you can also use Affinity Designer, Illustrator and many others. So it's not just limited to Affinity Photo. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.